What's going on guys? So today on this Shoki Quickie, we're continuing the whole Eagle, Mar Eagle Moss Star Trek line. Sorry, I'm fighting off a burp. <laughs> and we're doing it with the Enterprise B and a very dented box. So I ordered this directly from Eagle Moss on their website because they were having a sale. And um, unfortunately, even though it said it was in stock at the time, um, it took them about three weeks to even send it, and I opened the box the other day, I was already in a really bad mood, and it turned out that not only did they send this guy along with the book, they sent the book for the other one I ordered, however, that one it's now back ordered and not in stock. So now I have an indefinite amount of time waiting on the Enterprise A to come and I've already paid for it. So really annoying. I did have to contact them because I had heard nothing. So I contacted them and they got back to me and they said, hey, we'll send that right over. Now I have a feeling they shipped this from a different warehouse entirely um, just because someone somewhere had it. And Enterprise A is on back order, even though, once again, it showed it was in stock. And I know I was shopping on the U.S. website, not the U.K. one. That could be a problem, but you do have to designate when you open it in a browser. So I didn't really do that. So, anyways, so I did order these after the whole discussion before. And by the way, nobody ever answered my question in the comments. Uh, so I don't know if I'll ever get the Excelsior. But either way, uh, the box is super simple for this one. Nothing crazy going on here. You know, it's old school, the box. No big deal. Whoop, I knocked the light out of the way. And then back to the magazine. Um, I'm not really going to go over the entire magazine because it's mostly about the Generations movie, not about the Enterprise itself. So that part, you yeah, know, sucks a little bit. Though it's very interesting because the render here, it's missing all of these crazy aztec details. And for once, I'm fine with that because the overly Aztec look, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, but Enterprise B Special Issue, Excelsior Class, launched in 2293. Length was 467 meters. Nice long boy. Dex 32. And let's see here. There's the, how to put it on the thingy. There's your Enterprise, enterprise Collectivities. Collectivities. That's a new thing. First appears Star Trek Generations. Only appears in Star Trek Generations. Outside of maybe video games. Class Excelsior. And designed by Bill George and John Eaves. Yep, and Herman Zimmerman as well. Captain was John Harriman. And, uh, well, frankly, uh, actually, the irony would be if this came on a Tuesday. It didn't. It came this weekend. But it would have been funny. If you if you know why Tuesday is such a joke, um, leave a comment down below. So, let's bring out the actual ship. So, if one thing about these things is it's sometimes hard to get the right angle. Because it is so low with the stand. And I'm going to go ahead and take her off the stand, as it were. And, you know, it's the same thing. You know, I always got that 1312 AA, whatever that means, 2018. Nice stand, as usual. And here we go. It is the Enterprise B. And I've always thought that this was an interesting design. I did have the... Uh, Micro Machines version of this. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out which that light needed to be turned off. Got it. Okay. It's just too shiny. There we go. So I did have the actual uh, Micro Machines version of this. I did have the Micro Machines Excelsior as well. I had a whole lot of Star Trek and Star Wars ships uh, in Micro Machines. But I, this one was one of my favorites, even though I had yet to see Generations. Now, one thing that's very interesting for this is compared to the Excelsior itself which has like a light blue tinge. This actually has an off-white with a greenish tinge to everything, which is actually very cool in my mind. I'm going to lower this light down a little bit, kind of get her up in there. There we go. We can really see some stuff. I like that right here. You got United Federation. What does it say? Uh, Starship USS Enterprise United Federation Planet. So really, really big You know, insignia going across there. Die cast. Saucer section, like you do. And you can see here, they really went easy on the aztec in comparison to that image. Which is actually very nice, in my opinion. Looks good. Got gold paint details all around there. 
gives it more of a classic look and then like the pinstripes just something about it is a lot more classic than the modern designs and look at that and it's got the big kind of grill neck going on there and i think these are the torpedo launchers technically speaking i can't remember it has a really recessed let me flip her over here really recessed deflector dish there underside of the saucer has a big old blue ring i like that that's really cool i wonder if this was meant to be anything might have been interesting and i do believe technically speaking i could be wrong i think i saw this on a video that the saucer section may have been meant to come off on this one could be wrong they kind of included that in in a multitude of different ships but they may have been from uh the enterprise d and on i don't remember i mean it, it's cut pretty well so maybe it could do it uh one thing that was different between this and the regular excelsior was these huge impulse engines that are added on here the original only has these impulse engines and then these flares right here on the engineering hull is also new now eventually they left that on because i think they really only had the one model for like the longest time and i believe even a couple extra things like these fins might be extra if i remember correctly about the details but overall an excelsior ship is an excelsior like it just says enterprise there in big old letters that almost looks like it would be another uh another shuttle bay that'd be a good spot for a shuttle bay i love the big swoopiness but for the most part it's regular shuttle bay is back here like you do really long and luxurious ship definitely something almost like a like the Cadillacs from the 50s were super long and had the tail fins. And I love the fact that even the nacelles have a tint of green to it, not just blue. Enterprise logo back there. Once again, you can see the, the uh, impulse engines out of there. That's crazy. Man, that's pretty pretty ship and you know it is pretty long it's about nine or so inches so really reflecting the overall size and you know what i, I debated it so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get the um excelsior as it is but let me go get some other cool ships specifically some enterprises to compare all right so let's move her over a little bit we'll bring in the enterprise e Dang it, I'm always heading that light. Enterprise D, I'll move the camera out in a minute. And the Enterprise original flavor. I kind of just had my finger on that deflector dish. So let me back out a little bit here so we can see the cluster together. So what's funny is, so the Enterprise E is ridiculously long. We know that. It's like 600 some odd meters long. The Enterprise D, I think, is like 400 some odd meters. This is meant to be a bit longer than a Constitution class, if I recall. But then even the Galaxy class by itself is, is pretty sizable when it comes to an actual Excelsior. I do wish that... Uh, I do wish that... Oh, let's get that one on. There we go. I do wish that these things were technically scaled to each other. It's the only thing I'm really always going to be sad about. But I love that the E follows a bit of design from the B, which is still pretty cool. The long swept body, things like that, super long nacelles. Mind you, that does sort of reflect the original as well and is a big change from the D. I didn't bring out the C because it just it takes up too much space. And, you know, these really are a bit more but what's very interesting about it just in the idea of the excelsior class is it was in service for over 100 years you know even fought in the dominion war that's insane <clears throat> you know they fought alongside the enterprise d now they managed to refit over time well, you know update warp cores and stuff like that update technology along with it but ultimately an Excelsior class ship existed for a very, very long time. You know, I think I even mentioned that in the Enterprise D review that th those ships were really designed to last forever and just be updated. So, unfortunately, like we never got to see this in any other type of media except for the one movie and in a gold form 
on Jean-Luc's wall. Which is interesting. So that set the precedent in the, in the show. It set the precedent kind of for this, you know. It's just pretty. And if I remember correctly watching the videos on it, they actually put this together design-wise very quickly for the movie. It's just a big, big sexy ship. Though the hard part, of course, is just getting it in camera properly. Because it is such a weird angle and so low to the ground. But I'm really, really loving these ships. I know you guys probably don't all care. And at least one person is particularly picky. And if it was bad, I would definitely agree with you on being picky. But, you know, this is just a sexy one, in my opinion. For an Enterprise. And, you know, the Enterprise B apparently didn't do much. Enterprise C didn't do much except for disappear. You know, it's not like the original Enterprise or the Enterprise D and E that were involved in a lot of things, you know. As far as we know, this one really didn't do much of note. So, but guys, that's pretty much going to be it for this quickie. So, if you're interested and you hadn't seen anything else, go check out the rest of the uh, Eagle Moss Star Trek ships. And yeah, they do. They did just really kick into gear a bit of Battlestar Galactica. And I've got too too many things going too many different directions, or else I would totally get some of the Galactica stuff. Um, Right now, I'm just kind of hands full on Star Trek. And there is only a handful of ships that I want so far, at least in the XL line. They did just show off, at least for pre-order, I believe, the refit Discovery. I don't know if I need that. I really don't. You know, But if there's a couple of ships from Discovery, I probably would be interested in getting as it goes. Um, and what else? There's a couple others. Other than DS9, the Delta Flyer, Voyager... And, I mean, the, uh, obviously I'm waiting on the Enterprise A to show up since I paid for it already. I can't think of anything else. So, if you made it this far in the video, let me know down below what is your favorite version of the Enterprise that we've looked at so far. With the exception of the fact we're missing the Constitution refit. So, but I'll catch you guys next time. Remember, as always, to boldly nerd where no one has nerded before. <laughs>